My name is Michelle LaFontaine and I work here at Pierce College in the Earth and Space Sciences Department. And my main interests here are oceanography and environmental science, restoration ecology. We started this project in the 2007-2008 school year. It came about just kind of organically and how long it's gonna go on is as long as I can work the ground and am able to get around. Hopefully, in another 10 years, it'll be kind of self-sustaining. So I got interested in this restoration ecology work, basically from a love of nature. Ever since I was three months old, my parents were taking me on camping trips. Really happy time, really happy experience for us. Why is the Gary Oak habitat important? It's because it's one of the native ecosystems of Washington State, and it's always been a small portion of the state that can support this ecosystem, and it's home to some endangered species that aren't found in any other kind of locations, only in the Gary Oak Woodland. Get the oaks established so that they can shade out the blackberries and the scotch broom and the invasive species and we can bring the natives, the smaller shrubs and flowers back in. It came about when a biologist instructor here, Alicia Mabuja, a geography instructor, Tom Broxson and myself decided that we wanted to use the grounds around the school and the park next door as an outdoor classroom. We have in Fort Stillicum Park what we call a reference woodland. It's one of the last remaining kind of intact Gary Oak ecosystems in this part of Pierce County. And we're using that as a pattern to model what we're trying to do. So we're not only just planting oak trees, we're trying to recreate the whole ecosystem, which includes the shrubs and the wildflowers and the grasses and the organisms that need those to survive. And then there are days when I come out here all by myself. And uh, I was working in this patch actually, clearing out some back blackberries and I heard a noise off in that direction and a little weasel popped up and looked at me. I was like, oh, what are you doing here? And then he just popped down and disappeared. And the weasel belongs in this environment, but we didn't know we had any here. So it was like, we put the environment and the ecosystem here and, and he came. And it was very rewarding. That's part of what keeps me going. From start to finish, this project is kind of, we're looking at decades. We're not looking at a few years. Oak trees grow very slowly their first seven years, so um, these trees behind me, the taller ones, were planted in 2008 and they were eight-year-old trees at that time. So they're 16 years old right now and not very tall. First seven years, they max out usually between two and three feet. So by the time we get to the mature stage where they're 20, 30 feet tall, it's gonna be probably a 25-year project and for this woodland to reach maturity, we're probably looking at over 50 years. Oak trees live to be three to 500 years old. So like I said, it's an ongoing project and uh, it's kind of a legacy that the three of us want to leave. Alicia, Tom and myself as kind of our gift to the, to the college and to the state and to the environment. The main thing that's keeping us from moving forward is people power and the funding to get the equipment. We can use all the help we can get on this project. We have work parties continually throughout the year. Um, you can always check in with me. And my office is in the Rainier Building R237. Just visiting the site and using it and educating people about it is all wonderful things you can do for the project. This is the most endangered ecosystem in Washington State, the Gary Oak ecosystem. So I want to help preserve it so that my grandkids and future people can see what I was able to see and know the world the way I know it. And I just feel 
a really strong commitment to mitigating a lot of the damage that humans have done on the planet. And this is kind of my little spot where I can contribute and help mitigate some of that damage. Thank you.